Hello there. Welcome to this video performing rest calls and we're gonna get started with the get request. In this video first what we're gonna do is we're gonna manually update the value of the is motion property in the IOD platform. Then we will build a get request from Postman. We will send it across to the IOD platform and then see if we are getting the value back in Postman. So this way you can simulate an IoT device trying to get a value from the IoT platform. Of course, we're going to confirm and check if everything is working out. Now, just to give you an idea, on the left hand side, you have a general select query. So, we're going to try to select is motion as a column from the table IoT device one. So, something very similar to this. So, on the right hand side is the actual get request. Uh, this is how it's going to be built. So we're going to be using the verb called get. Basically, get is when you want to get the value from the server or get the value from the target. So pretty obvious with the name of the verb get. And then what you got to do is you have to build the URL. And then this is going to be HTTP slash 1.1. You need to give the host name, which is basically your domain name, which is basically translates to an IP. And then you need to give the app key. So this is the app key which you created on the IoT platform. Your content type is application JSON. Your cache control is no cache. All right, let's get started now and see this in action. All right, so we are on the IoT platform. I already logged in and this is the landing page. All right, go ahead and click on the thing, which is the IoT device one and go to your properties. All right, there you go. Now you see that the is motion property currently the value is 0, 0.0. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set the value manually and then we're going to build the get request, send it across and try to get back this value on the postman side. Go ahead and set it to something like 50 or whatever you like and then say set. Now, when you do that, you see that the value is 50 and is reflecting here. Now, let's go ahead and build the get request. So, this is the postman and I have a new tab open for me. So, what we're going to do is first thing is you're going to set the verb to get. So, go ahead and do that. If this could be put or post, but you want to be get. All right. Once you do that, then you need to build your URL. So, I'm going to quickly paste it. And I'm going to walk you through this URL. So it's really straightforward. Now, in this URL, some of the things are constant and some of the things change. So, the first thing in this URL is your domain IP. So, this is the IP address of the platform. Now, how do we know this? I can take you real quick to the platform and you can see here and that this is the IP address. So what you're going to do is you're going to simply copy the IP address all the way till forward slash thing works. So this is going to be the base URL. Now once you do that, you have to locate your resource very specifically down to the property. So now what we're going to do is you're going to attach something called the things. So because IoT device is a part of things, so you have to say forward slash things, which is going to be a constant. Keep that in mind. If the name of your IoT device or the thing is something like XYZ, you still have to say things forward slash XYZ. So now, what I would like to say is this specific URL all the way till here, from here to here, is a constant. So this doesn't change no matter what. Of course, the domain name and the IP will change for different users. But once that is set, this part will not change. Then you're going to give your actual name of your entity or your IoT device or the thing perhaps. For us, it's going to be the IoT device one. Now, the IoT device one has many properties. So we're going to narrow down to a specific property. So then you're going to say forward slash properties. This is a constant again. 
and then you're gonna say the actual name of the property which is is motion so very straightforward couple of things are constant and some of the things are placeholders where you have to fill in the actual value so in this entire URL if I quickly recap for you the domain name has to change of course depend on the user then forward slash thing works forward slash things remain the same and after the things forward slash this is a placeholder or an empty space where you have to actually give in your actual name which you created on the IRA platform then forward slash properties remain a constant and then forward slash your actual name of the property so much for the URL all right now let's get started with the authorization so basically there's gonna be no auth as of now because we're gonna be using the app key to authorize and that is gonna go as a header so go to the next tab headers and here we're going to add the app key so first you're gonna say app key we can also choose app key and then you need to give the value of your app key so how do you find the value of your app key you can go to your keys so roll out and go to security go to application keys pull up the key which you created and there you go that's the app key so copy this and go back to postman and then paste it there you go perfect now we need to create something called the content type so go ahead and say content there you go and select or start writing application and once you see the option select application JSON so these are the two things or two headers which we're going to send to the IoT platform along with the request so then all you have to do is check if everything is okay basically check the app key the content type and of course the URL if everything is good to go go ahead and say send so within a second or two you're gonna get the response back and you see that you're getting a response back and if you want to see the value you can actually see the value here which is 50 you can also go to preview and see the value 50 so this is very very exciting guys that you are able to send a get request to the ID platform using postman and this is going to be the foundation for you to interact from your IoT device to the outside world really really exciting so let's try one more time so what I'm going to do is let's go ahead to the platform and let's go ahead and change the value real quick so I'm going to say set and let's change it to 79 something odd and say set All right there you go 79 let's go to postman back and we're going to say send again so this is going to happen one more time when I click send this is going to start sending there you go now it says 79 very nice works like a charm great now you know how to build a get request more specifically you know what is a get request how a URL looks like what are the different types of headers you need to send and once you get back the response how it's going to look like that's a lot of information perfect in the next video we're gonna do the rest call and this time is gonna be the put great